What's going on, everybody? Here was Asi Skullcat Podcast, part two of this liquor guide. Let's just jump right into it with whiskey, bourbon, scotch, right? All liquors within the same category, all a little bit different though, right? So whiskey, you've got Jack Daniels, Crown Royal, Jameson, right? Southern Comfort, you know, lots out there. Some of the main ones you're going to run into, the ones you're going to see, right? Within bourbon, you've got Maker's Mark, you've got mm, Buffalo Trace, Woodford Reserve, a lot of different ones there. And with scotch, some of the ones you'll see are Johnny Walker, McCollin, Belvine, all right? Again, different sort of whiskeys, they're just categorized different. And how they're different from each other, right? It's mainly ingredients and kind of how they're made, right? So whiskey, whiskey is a blend of different grains. So primary like wheat, barley, rye, corn, right? It's a mashed blend. And that's why a lot of times you'll see whiskeys that are, you know, whiskey blends, right? And bourbon a little bit different though. Bourbon, it's it's a mashed blend, but of that mash, 51% of it has to be corn. So this is just a regulation within the United States. Um, it's basically by law, right? For it to be considered bourbon, has to be 51% or more corn, a corn mash, right? So whereas Scotland, you know, it's a malted barley, primarily how they make, you know, scotch, right? <laughs> and so of the three, whiskey is kind of like all over the place, right? You've got it in the USA, Canada, you know, Scotland, Ireland, there's, you know, Japanese whiskey, right? So whiskey is kind of all over the place, whereas bourbon primarily in Kentucky. So bourbon is mainly an American, you know, an American whiskey, but, you know, primarily in Kentucky, whereas scotch Scotland, right? It's got to be made within the Scotland region or the Scottish region for Scotch to be from Scotland. Wow, that was a that was a brain fart, right? As far as how it's being distilled, wooden barrels, right? Oak barrels primarily for all three of them, but differences is whiskey, just oak barrels, right? That's how you're going to get the distinct flavor in it. Bourbon, on the other hand. It's got to be in new oak barrels, charred. So basically, a little bit burnt, right? Just a little bit burnt. But that gives you that rich, smooth flavor that a lot of people like with bourbon. Whereas in Scotland, it's got to be in aged in barrels for at least three years. So a little bit different on what the requirements are, but that's how you're getting that different taste, you know, for the particular whiskey you're looking for. So where bourbon is also different between the two is bourbon has to be bottled at at least 40% or more alcohol for it to be bourbon, right? So 80 proof. Whiskeys, on the other hand, they can be, they can drop below 40. So like Crown Apples at 35%, right? Um, Screwball, a peanut butter whiskey, 35. Other ones are lower, right? They can get down to like the, the 30%. Bourbon can't, has to be at least 80 proof, which is 40%. And scotch, they don't really have that requirement either, but primarily most of them are gonna be 40% or higher. Drinks that you're gonna be using, especially like bourbon, you know, you've got Manhattans, right? Um, a lot of people are gonna be going, you know, not necessarily classics, right? But like Jack and Cokes with whiskey. Scotch on the other hand though, for the most part, you are drinking that on the rocks are neat. You're not really mixing with anything unless it's like, say, a rusty nail. We're going to use like maybe, you know, Dewar's Scotch, right? And some Drambuie. Sure, put that together. That's a rusty nail. Most people, though, are drinking Scotch. Straight neat. You know, straight up, essentially. <laughs> neat around the rocks. Whiskey, people mixing it with different mixers. And bourbon, you can do the same thing. You can drink that up, you know, on the rocks or neat. But again, you can also mix the bourbon with some stuff too. It's not gonna kill it. But scotch is just one of those drinks where, I mean, they created the snifter essentially for scotch. And it's used just to enjoy the aroma, drink it, bam, like it, right? So 
That's really just a quick nitty gritty on whiskey, bourbon, scotch. I mean, you could get in way more in-depth details, but for the purpose of this of being quick and kind of knowing the difference between the three, it's kind of helpful. It's helpful for a new bartender. It's helpful for like a cocktail server. Somebody's trying to sell or upsell, um, you know, different whiskeys to people. Just a quick little guide, nothing crazy. Trying to keep this simple, trying to keep this going. Again, this is the second of seven I'm going to do of all the different liquor types. So again, look forward to that. Keep watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.